Good morning, Oviedo. I'm Brooke Tyler. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed your summer and are ready to start off your 2019-2020 school year strong. For now, let's get the show started. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lily Gunter led the defense with 10 digs. On Thursday, girls varsity, varsity volleyball is a home game for two of the preseason classics versus Dr. Phillips at 7 p.m. Boys golf competes this afternoon in preseason competition versus Pine Ridge at Deltona Country Club at 3.30 p.m. The Art Club Interest Meeting is Tuesday, August 20th after school in room 5-022. To start the year off, we're going back to take a look at some events that our reporters covered. Let's go check out the Sanford Airport Aviation Day covered by Aaron Doggerty. Jumbo jet liners, roaring choppers, and sky-high thrills were all on display at the Sanford Airport's Aviation Day event this past weekend. What started the event was a partnership that we began with Seminole County Public Schools and Seminole State to introduce aviation careers to the local community. And because out of that came the idea of having an Aviation Day. Now in its second year, Aviation Day aims to expose opportunities that otherwise may go unnoticed to students. So the goal of today is to really show students all the options within the industry because there's lots of demand within our industry. Also, we're showcasing our Seminole County Public School programs, our magnets and programs of emphasis that have choice options for students to get involved in some of these career paths. There is every imaginable career opportunity available through aviation, working within the finance and with HR, and then we have the control, the air traffic control towers who guide the aircraft in. So it's really about educating the students as well as their parents about what opportunities there are for their, for their kids in uh, going forward with careers. Organizers held back on last year's event as they tested out what they wanted to do. However, this year it seemed like the sky was the limit. So this year we definitely expanded the surface area of the event, so we got a lot bigger, a lot more spread out. There's quite a few more airplanes. We have about 14 airplanes this year and about four to five helicopters. Behind me you see an A340, that's brand new this year, this nice big plane. And of course we had our aerobatics again, which is huge. Many of you have flown in the past, perhaps more frequently than others, but for some attendees at the air show, this is their first experience with an aircraft. Neither one of my children have been on an airplane before, so I kind of wanted to get them to see the inside of it, especially the small private planes as well. It was huge because my kids at least got over that fear. You, you can see them in, in, in the sky, you see them far away, but w when they're close up, they're actually spectacular. Students under 18 even had the opportunity to enter a raffle to fly on a small engine plane for free. One eighth grader at Millie Middle School recalled lessons she learned in the class during her flight. I saw him doing that I had learned about when I was taking the class about aeronautical engineering was um, when the plane lands the spoilers come out and they increase drag and then they spoil lift and that like helps the plane land smoother and it was really cool to actually see them like come up. We were able to see some women's aviation booths and I have a 13 year old daughter that she's interested in that as well. It's very good to learn all the different options there is. It's just not flying. It's so, it's so many different fields as well. For Roar TV, I'm Erin Doherty. Interested swimmers and divers, come to the meeting after school in the Commons Wednesday the 14th at 1.30 p.m. Swim and dive meeting is open to swimmers and parents. Experience for the swim team is necessary. Any new student to Oviedo High School interested in cheerleading tryouts are next Tuesday and Thursday. Please get a packet from athletics or room 8-210. You must have a white card in order to try out. Any junior or senior boy interested in cheerleading for Powder Puff, please pick up a registration form from room 8-210 or 8-220. There must be at least 12 participants in order to have a team. Registration is due by August 28th.
Students, please be sure to get to your classes on time because the Hero System does go live today. You can find a Hero Pass station in the front office and Building 8 Discipline office. Have a great day, Oviedo, and as always, Go Lions!